Hi, it's Robin, and welcome to another episode of Real Kosher Family Living. And um, today I'm going to talk about um, how I've been substituting whole grains for um, the white stuff this past week because it's made such a difference in um, my hypoglycemic episodes or my low blood sugar episodes or how I've been feeling. I've been feeling very, very, very even all week. Um, and part of that is that I haven't been eating anything with refined sugar in it. Um, and then part of that is also that I've been eating a lot of whole grains. And so um, I wanted to talk about how to get your family to be more excited about whole grains because, um, well, the truth is whole wheat bread, especially the kind that you make yourself, can sometimes just taste bad. <laughs> Not bad. Heavy tough, not soft and comforting and and fluffy and all the things that we want our bread to be like. So um, so I wanted to tell you about this product that I've been using this week and um, which I think that you should definitely use and then I didn't get it to put it here on the counter for the video so I'm going to go grab it right now. Hold on just a second. So in the first place, I've been substituting um, King Arthur white whole wheat flour in my recipes um, for wheat flour, or for white flour. And um, this is not white flour. It's um, milled from a different kind of wheat than normal whole wheat is milled from. Um, it's uh, very tasty. It's better than white flour. I know you don't believe me, but you're going to try it and then you'll agree. And then you'll write me in the comment box below the win below this window and you'll say, yes, Robin, you were right. This flour makes the most amazing everything. So starting this week on Sunday, I made whole grain waffles and I used one part uh, of this flour and, and I used one part buckwheat flour. Um, buckwheat pancakes are amazing, and um, I use the same recipe for pancakes as I do for waffles, so I just um, interchange them. Um, so one part white whole wheat flour, one part buckwheat flour, and one part barley flour. And I'm going to put the recipe for that after the video so that you'll have it, um, if you want my waffle recipe. My husband said that the waffles were so amazing, they were much better than usual white flour waffles, and he never wanted to go back, and even better, he didn't want to put any toppings on them because the flavor of the waffles themselves were just so amazing that all you wanted was the waffle flavor. So that was amazing. That was really great. Um, then I used this white whole wheat flour in um, the pitas that I made last week, which everybody devoured. So that was great. I made pitas again this week. And then today is my baking day. So here I'm going to show you what I made today. I made... Hala, isn't this a beautiful hala? Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. I know it's little. That's because I have a little family. I don't have a little family, but um, my family members are all little. So, um, so this I made with a white whole wheat um, flour. I um, substituted it straight across, and then I also put in um, three quarters of a cup um, vital gluten flour. So I put in mostly the white whole wheat and then for three quarters of a cup of the regular white flour I would have used, except that I always make whole wheat mahalas. So for the regular whole wheat flour that I would have used, I use vital gluten to make the dough, to condition the dough a little bit. It makes the dough softer um, and easier. And look how beautifully these rose today. Can you see that? Oh, gorgeous. Okay. I also made sandwich breads. These are not as pretty, but they're very nice. See, my sandwich breads. These I'm going to cut up for sandwiches um, and for toast and for anything else that I might need a loaf of bread for. I got two of these from my bread recipe. Um, and again, I just made my regular bread, my regular sandwich bread recipe. And instead of using whole wheat flour, which I normally would use, I use the white whole wheat flour and vital gluten. Um, and then the piece de resistance the champion of the day. Look at this. Oh, can you believe how gorgeous this is? It's like a work of art. This is my beautiful pesto pizza and um, with tomatoes on. 
So um, I would absolutely make white flour pizza dough because I want the pizza dough to act a certain way and I thought I had to use white flour to get it to act that way. But today I used the white whole wheat flour and it's beautiful. It, it's just amazing. Um, I made the pesto and um, that just makes Mm. Pesto pizza with tomatoes, gotta try it. Okay, so the King Arthur flour costs, regular price is $5 for five pounds. I know, $5 for this. That's crazy. That's a dollar a pound. That's twice as much as um, the gold medal flour or, you know, five times as much if you get it on sale. So it's very expensive. It's really worth it. There's really a taste difference between the King Arthur flour and any other flour on the planet. I promise you, you're going to love it. And, um, and it costs more. But $5 for five pounds. Now normally a, a loaf of artisanal, artisanal artisty bread, a loaf of really good quality bread is going to run you $5. And look, I today made pizza and hala and sandwich breads and um and there's my stand mixer right there by the way you need a stand mixer otherwise you have to need all this stuff i mean it makes your arm strong and maybe you're into that but whew, i could never do it so of course i tell people i run into people all the time oh you homeschool i could never do that and i'm like sure you could so probably if i didn't have a stand mixer i could need <laughs> But I'm very appreciative for my stand mixer. Thank you, mother-in-law, very, very much for the stand mixer. Um, and, and pizza dough, I got all of these things out of less than five pounds, by the way, less than this much bread, or flour, not by much. Probably I used almost, almost five pounds. So, and you don't have to make a commitment, right? You buy it one time, you buy a five pound bag, you use it, if you don't, taste the difference. If you don't love it, then you don't buy it anymore. You buy regular flour again. But give it a chance and definitely give the waffle recipe a chance. Um, you know, I could go into the benefits of using whole grains. I could say, oh, whole grains keep, um, you know, lower GI, lower glycemic index, um, easy, you know, just better all around for you. Um, better for your digestion, makes your digestion strong. So, um, so yeah, I really, really, really recommend, especially if you're having um, low blood sugar episodes. Um, boy, I just can't even describe how how even I've been all week. How very, you know, I just haven't had. Today I had a little teeny bit of feeling like I was going to eat my children. Um, but that's because I had a chai tea latte with sugar in it. Mm, no good. So don't have the processed sugar and have the whole wheat, whole grains and, um, let me know how it goes. Talk to you soon and stay tuned for the recipe. Bye.